Okay, I want to show you a few licks that uh, hopefully will uh, help you to fill your bag of licks because every guitar player worth their salt has a bag of licks that we all we, that we can we can go to and draw one out and say, "Ooh, look at this one." Um, and these licks are all based on things that I I stole from Chet Atkins. And <clears throat> really, it, when Chet heard me play the first time, he said, "That's petty theft." And he knew it, and so did I. But uh, this is how these kind of things uh, get handed on. This is how music uh, gets handed on and grows and, and, and changes. I steal it from him, you steal it from me. And then someone hears you play it, and they steal it from you. And that's how it goes around. So, um, I mean, there are, there are licks in, er in every key, of course, and... Uh, um, depending on how complicated you, you want them, you can, you can find them. Um, the ones I want to show you are not necessarily easy, uh, but the first one is a lick that, that Chet used a lot, especially when he was, when he was younger, because it was really effective and it was uh, kind of like a little trademark for him. It was in, in the key of C, and, and say, say uh, if, if he was finishing a song... That was a little lick to, to finish the song. Now, a couple of things I want to point out about this lick. So it's in the key of C. That's my anchor point, that, that note there. So it... What I'm doing is... I'm, I'm pulling off and uh, with with these two fingers while anchoring down with that first finger. So you get So you know you sometimes I vary it and I go Same lick, but I, I've just extended little bits of it. So, you see what I mean? See what I've done? And the whole time, this is anchored down, so it's all nice and nice and clear there. So, that's lick number one. Lick number two is this one here. Now this is in G, and it's... Chet used that a lot, and, and I believe it's something he got from Jerry Reed. Um, it's a, almost like a banjo sound. So I'll play it slowly for you. My right hand is... I'm playing it with my thumb pick and two fingers. So, and you, you you can feel it in very in various ways. You can feel it one, two, three, four. Or you can feel it in triplets. Uh, one, two, and three, and four, and you see that. So, with that with that lick. It's important that all the notes are pretty much at the same volume, so it has that peeling off sound. And you'll see that there's, there's not a lot of movement going on with my left hand. That's how I get the clarity. I've already practiced it enough, so I don't have to go exaggerating the whole thing. So I'm going to play it really slowly for you now. You ready? One more time. Now, the other, the other lick that I wanted to play for you is the one that I use on uh, the end of Waltzing Matilda. And this is a lick using the technique that I... That I 
I borrowed uh, from from Chet Atkins and Jerry Reed, and I made this lick up my, my, myself, which is. <laughs> Finishing in C, right? So the lick goes like this. So I'm playing in tempo. So. There's a lot going on in this little lick and it takes a while to get used to it. I'll tell you why, because you've got got that going on so you get so if you want to hear it in context it sounds like this um uh, That, that's how the lick works. So that's three licks. Good luck. <laughs>